Thank you, Max. Max Weinberg 7. Folks, uh, you would not know it, and back me up on this, that uh, summer's pretty much upon us. When is summer, technically? Does anybody know? Anybody? No. Summer? <laughs> I knew I had a reading nerdy audience. They're like, the 23rd at 3 o'clock by... Uh, Anyway, uh, it's, uh, we, it's summer's almost here. You wouldn't know it. I think it's something like 58 degrees today here in New York. It's raining. It's miserable. Everyone's wearing parkas. And it's sad, really. But summer's still on the way. They say that within a couple of days, it's going to be back. It's going to be 120 degrees, proof that we've broken the planet once and for all. <laughs> and summer means one thing here at the old late night show. And that, uh, that's this. It's time, once again, we're, we're gonna do is preview some of the new characters that we're gonna be featuring on our show in the summer months, all right? These are characters that are making their first appearances tonight on the show. You're gonna be seeing them all summer long, even if you hate them, because we paid them in advance. It's a little segment we're gonna call New Summer Characters. These are some really good characters. They're gonna be here all summer. Uh, first up is, uh, is a new character. He's from the South Pacific. Please welcome a character we call the stereotypical Polynesian. Let's get him in here. Very nice. Now, I, uh, I have a few questions for you, stereotypical Polynesian. What is the square root of 64? I don't know. Okay. Who was the fifth president of the United States? I don't know. Okay, what fruit has a uh, spiny skin and is yellowish brown when ripe? Pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Who, uh, who hosted the game show Tattletales? I don't know. What food has historically been a staple of feasts and rites related to tribal affirmation? Pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> Stereotypical Polynesian. That was nice. He'd do really well on the Millionaire Show with very specific questions. All right. Our next character is the, uh, is the only big fan of John Travolta's new movie, Battlefield Earth. Please welcome the Battlefield Earth convention nerd. As you can see, uh, all the other cyclos are, are currently mining Devatar and Quadrant J15, but rest assured, when this convention kicks in, this place is going to be packed. <laughs> oh, no! No, why? I think an audience would cheer the roaming Spock gang. All right. All right, uh... Next, folks, uh, this, is a, this is an interesting character. It's the guy who simply wants you to know that he's not annoying. I am not annoying! 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 That's fine. I am that's, not annoying! That's fine. Thank you. <laughs> it's odd. I thought people would like that character more. Now, uh, everybody remembers Marley Matlin won an Oscar for her performance in Children of a Lesser God, an amazing performance. But don't assume that all deaf actors are good. Please welcome our next character, Helen Brendel, the overacting deaf actress. Please, tell your sister that I love her and that I'm sorry for what I did. He wants you to understand he loves you and he's sorry for what he did to you. Tell him I love him too! <laughs> tell her she's just made me very happy. You make him very happy. Tell him I'm happy, 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 happy. Helen Brandel, the overacting deaf actress. She's... 
She's not very good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can't lie to her. Ladies and gentlemen, now this next character is our take on a famous person from history. Please welcome, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade Jesus. <laughs> When life gives you lemons, make lemonade, Jesus. Nice job. Now, folks, it's interesting. That character leads us naturally to our next characters. Please welcome the operators on hand waiting to take your irate phone calls about our Jesus character. That's very nice. Thank you, ladies. That's very nice. And uh, finally, And finally, our last character is named Camel Toe Annie. That's right. She thinks, she thinks that, that men shouldn't be the only ones who get to stuff their crotch area. She thinks women should get to do it too. Please welcome Camel Toe Annie. Stick around.